All right, everybody on YouTube, how are you doing today? Uh, we got a lot to talk about, as you can tell in the video description, um, from college football, and the bowl games, and uh, the playoffs and stuff. Um, and you know, as me being a Penn State fan, um, you know, Penn State uh, won the Fiesta Bowl. We'll get into that in a bit, um, and. Also, Saquon Barkley, their star running back, uh, declaring for the NFL draft. We're going to talk about that. And uh, we're going to talk about the NFL playoffs as well. Um, and, uh, so, and then quick uh, little update here of what's going on. So let's get started. Um, first, college football. Uh, the bowl games are over with. Um uh, and the play college football playoffs are over with. Let's talk about the bowl games first. Um, I'm not going to talk about every bowl game. Um, I'm only going to talk about the big, the big, uh, the, the bowl games the Big Ten teams were in, on um, and plus um, other major bowl games uh, like New Year's, the New Year's Six bowls and everything like that, to include the college football playoffs. Um, I'm going to start here. Let me get my little cheat. Um, have you never heard of this? I just found this out this year, actually. It's um, Phil Steele's college football uh, preview for uh, for this past season. And as you can see, it has uh, Saquon Barkley right there from Penn State. Um, and he comes out this every year. And I didn't know um, about it until August. Um, when I went home, uh, back home to Pennsylvania, my dad had this and I was looking through it and it looked, you know, it has a lot of good information, you know, about each team in the NCAA. So for the previous year, you know, what the record was, their stadium information, you know, what to look for, their opponents, yeah, all this other fun stuff. So, and, uh, I went to Barnes and Noble down back home and, and got my own copy, which, um, and I'll probably get in next year's uh, copy as well. But I wrote down, you know, the bull games here on this piece of paper that I, I you know, kept in, had an interest of, uh, mainly Big Ten games. You know, start with the New Era Pinstripe Bowl. Um, that was on December 27th, which was a Wednesday. It was Iowa versus Boston College. Iowa won. Um, and a couple of years ago... I think the first or second bowl game that James Franklin from Penn State uh, was the head coach for, he they made it to the Pinstripe Bowl. Um, that was after the sanctions got lifted for the you know with everything. Um, and I think the Pinstripe Bowl was the first bowl the game that he went that they, Penn State went to. Um, or was it? Yeah, it was the Pinstripe Bowl. So Iowa won that game. I had I don't remember what the score was. Um, the next bowl, Foster Farms Bowl, which was also the same day Purdue beat Arizona. Um, which, you know, these first couple bowl games weren't that, a, you know, they're not major bowls, um, but, you know, they're still a bowl game. The Big Ten was represented in, and, and since, you know, Penn State's Big Ten, they got to follow the Big Ten. Um, the Holiday Bowl was the following day. Uh, Michigan State beat Washington State. <laughs> Um, then Friday, Music City Bowl, Northwestern beat Kentucky. And then the first, uh, uh, major bowl game, uh, was the Cotton Bowl. Sorry, my phone's going off there, but the first major bowl game, uh, was the Cotton Bowl, uh, with the, uh, Southern Cal and, and Ohio State, which was on Friday. Ohio State won, <clears throat> so... That's good. And, you know, at this point, you know, the Big Ten's undefeated. They're, you know, 5-0. and oh. And then Saturday, the Fiesta Bowl, uh, Penn State beat Washington. And it's funny because everybody, you know, had Washington. A lot of people had Washington winning, which is funny. But Penn State came out and won. Um, and, of course, and I'll get to Saquon Barkley in a minute here, but that was the Fiesta Bowl. They won. Then the Orange Bowl, Wisconsin beat Miami. Um, you know, at this point, you know, this is three, four, five. You know, this that's seven bowl games, and the Big Ten, you know, seven and zero in all the bowl games. 
Monday comes. <clears throat> okay, there's no bowl games on Sunday because that was NFL. Uh, Monday comes, New Year's Day. The Outback Bowl with South Carolina and Michigan. And you know, as a Penn State fan, never root for Michigan. Never. But except for bowl games. <laughs> um, so I was rooting for Michigan for the Big Ten. That's it. And Michigan screwed up and they lost to South Carolina in the Outback Bowl. So, and it's funny because I was arguing, I was talking to my uncles about this. Um, you know, my dad, South Carolina, you know, they, they're, South Carolina is now just getting to the point this year of making it to a major bowl game. You know, the Outback Bowl is, uh, it, the Outback Bowl is not considered a New Year Six Bowl. Like, See, the New Year's Six Bowls, uh, you know, contain of the Cotton Bowl, Fiesta Bowl, Orange Bowl, uh, uh, Peach Bowl, Citrus Bowl, Rose Bowl, and Sugar Bowl. Those are the those are the New Year's Six. Or, I'm sorry, Cotton Bowl, Fiesta Bowl, Orange Bowl, Sugar Bowl, Rose Bowl, and Peach Bowl. Those are the New, New Year's Six Bowl games. Uh, but the Outback Bowl is, you know, still considered a huge game, a bowl game um, <clears throat> for college football. Um, and so I consider, you know, South Carolina, you know, be, this is like their first year, you know, of actually being a good team to make it to a major bowl game like the Outback Bowl. And... You know, props to them. They, they they pulled it off, and then but you know but you know they let they beat Michigan. Michigan is one of those teams, you know, like in the top five that you that when you think college football and everything, you 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 know like you know the teams to think of in college football are Ohio State, Michigan, Alabama, um, Notre Dame, and you know. Sometimes Texas, and there's a few others, you know, out there that, like, when you think college football, those are the teams you think of. And, you know, it's funny, you know, Michigan being a very good, you know, usually a very good team. Okay, you know, they lost, you know, this year they had a horrible season as compared to last year where they actually beat Penn State last year in Michigan, but this year Penn State beat them. As well. But, you know, that's whatever. But, you know, Michigan had a horrible year this year. I mean, not horrible. I mean, they lost, you know, two or three games. but And they ended up fourth in the Big Ten East, and you know, when it, when it was all said and done. So, and, you know, you think of Michigan and Jim Harbaugh. You know, Jim Harbaugh is one of those recognizable, notable coaches in the, in the, war, in the United States. And you think that he would be a good coach, and he, he could easily beat South Carolina. But... You know, all the hype with with him is is crap, is my opinion. So, but Michigan was the only Big Ten team. Michigan was the only Big Ten team to lose the bowl game, a bowl game. But out of every, you know, the Big Ten, SEC, Pac-12, Big 12, and the ACC, um, and all the bowl games, the Big Ten had, you know wiped everybody else clean. Like we had the most big 10 had the most wins out of every other uh, power five conference for bowl games, which is awesome. Um, then you have the peach bowl. That was next, uh, central Florida beat Auburn who, you know, you didn't, you know, remember Auburn beat Georgia and Alabama, uh, in the regular season, central Florida went undefeated this year and they still didn't get any recognition for, you know, being in at least, you know, above, like in, you know, in the high top, five, high top 10 or something, you know, I, they, they should have, they should have made it to the playoffs. You know, I know they're, you know, the, in the AAC or whatever, but they're still in. And, so, uh, you know, they were still in the, you know, they're still in the NCAA division one, still, they went undefeated. You know, they deserve to be in the playoffs. 
regardless of who they played this year because, you know, the committee put Alabama in uh, the playoffs over them. And I'm sitting there going, and, you know, they're based on strength of schedule. Who did Alabama play this year that was worth it? And beat them, okay? LSU? Mississippi State? That's it? And, like, the the second to last game for Alabama, they play, they scheduled Mercer as, like, Division Two or Division Three. Come on, that's, you know, the NCAA, the NCAA is, you know, they, you know, the SEC, they love the SEC, let's put it that way, in my opinion. Um, but Central Florida won that game, and, you know, they went undefeated, and, you know, I'm glad. So, and then the Citrus Bowl, LSU, and Notre Dame, I don't remember who won that game. I think Notre Dame won, if I remember correctly. So, um, then the Rose Bowl happened, also, Oklahoma for... Oklahoma versus Georgia in the Rose Bowl, which is uh, one of the two uh, playoffs, uh, playoff games. I was rooting for Georgia. I'm still rooting for Georgia because Georgia won that game, and we're going to go into the national championship. Um, the reason I don't like, you know, Oklahoma is, is a good team, but I can't stand Baker Mayfield and his, you know, his cockiness. He should, he should have never won the Heisman. I'm not going to go any more deeper into that, but. Um, Georgia won, so, and they're going to be playing Alabama in the national championship next week, and I was actually pulling for Clemson in the Sugar Bowl to win, um, because Alabama doesn't deserve to be in. They didn't even, they didn't even win their freaking, uh, conference. They didn't even win the SEC, and they didn't even make it to the SEC championship game. Auburn beat them, and Auburn got in over them. So why the hell were, are they considered to be in the, uh, the playoffs, you know, when Oklahoma and Georgia and Clemson got in? They should have either, like I said, instead of Bama, they should have put Central Florida in, or they should have put um, Ohio State in as uh, for the Big Ten champions. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. My prediction, I'm hoping I'm rooting for – like I said, I'm rooting for Georgia next week. Um, not because, you know, I'm not a Georgia fan. You know, I live in Georgia, but I'm not a Georgia fan. I'm a Penn State fan because I'm from Pennsylvania. But I'm rooting for Georgia uh, to pull it off. I think it, I think they could do it. Um, so that's, you know, all, all the bowl games. It was a very good, very good uh, bowl season for the Big Ten. And uh, that brings me to uh, – you know, Penn State and won the Fiesta Bowl. So last year they didn't win the Rose Bowl, but this year they still won the New Year's Six Bowl and the Fiesta Bowl, which is awesome. Um, and it was uh, Saquon Barkley's last game at Penn State. Um, Sunday he declared that he's going to the NFL draft. Um, you know, I'm I'm happy for him and I'm mad at the same time. Um, because, you know, the reason I'm upset because now, you know, he's not going to be back uh, back next year to play for Penn State. Um, he's, um, you know, he's a hell of a running back, the best running back in, in college football this year. Not, you know, it, you know he's, he's a good kid. You know, he, he should have been – he should have won the Heisman over Baker Mayfield, that's for sure, because Baker Mayfield acts like, acted like a jackass during that one game and – and uh, same with Lamar Jackson from Louisville. And, you know, the Heisman Committee picked those two over Saquon Barkley, who never acts like that. He always is class act. And, you know, um, so. But Saquon, he's going to the NFL draft uh, this come, this year. And I'm um, happy for him. Um, no one has background, you know, how he grew up, you know. And, you know, he had a rough and, uh, you know, he's, he's doing this for his family, which is totally understandable. I wish him all the luck. I just hope he doesn't get drafted to the Browns because the Browns suck. And, you know, which brings me to NFL playoffs. Um, you know, I'm a Steelers fan. 
Steelers are in the playoffs. They got a uh, first round bye this weekend uh, to rest. Um, next week, they'll get uh, they'll play on Sunday the seventh. Or no, not the seventh. That's this week. Uh, the following Sunday, uh, which is the fourteenth, I believe. Um, and they'll either I think they'll either play Jacksonville or Tennessee or another team, something like that. And um, so that's you know for them. Um, you know, I'm hoping, you know, I'm forgot, you know, this is, this is good because, you know, last year they only made it to the, I oh know they, we made it to, they got a lot, uh, last year the Steelers got a wild card, um, uh, playoff, uh, you know, in the for the wild card, uh, round and, you know, they beat, So I forget. I mean, I think, and I know they won, and then they lost in the next game. But um, so they'll have this week off, and then the following week they'll play Jacksonville or Tennessee or some or another team, and they win that game, and then they'll probably. Uh, go to Foxborough and play the Patriots for the AFC Championship game, which I hope they win this. They better win this time, and then they'll go to the Super Bowl if all goes well. So it's going to be awesome. Um, as you can see, my parents actually gave this to me for Christmas this year, but uh, you know, um, you know, Sunday's game. Uh, my wife and I went to, out, went somewhere to watch it because we couldn't get at the house because they played the Patriots instead. Go figure. But uh, we went to a wing place. Or they had a there was a Steelers, uh, the Steelers group that meets there and watch the game. And you know, we didn't play for we didn't the Steelers didn't play their starters. You know, Ben didn't play. Well, Bell didn't play. Antonio Brown and Antonio Brown is. Recovering from his injury, still he should be back in the playoffs, hopefully. And um, you know, it's and you know we almost lost. Like we we barely won by three point three three points. So we almost gave the Browns our first win, which was I'm glad we did. But uh, yeah, Steelers in the playoffs, which is good. And uh, yeah, um. That's all for sports, I guess. Um, another thing, um, this coming Monday, I'm going back to school. Final, uh, going back to school, starting starting the semester this Sunday, which is good because I'm bored out of my mind, or sitting around the house for the past three weeks doing nothing. So, it'd be great to get back to class and and stuff. So, uh, that's all I got. Um, let me know what you guys think of the uh, the college football bowl games and the college football playoffs and the NFL playoffs and Saquon Barkley going on the drive. Let me know if, what you guys think and you know if you agree with me, disagree, whatever. Who I don't know. That's why we're, you know that's the beauty of this. So leave a comment and uh, we'll see you next time.